hi hello i've seen better days this is what we're working with welcome back or welcome to the channel no i'm gonna i'm, I'm too ugly to film this before i do makeup okay i'm just gonna get started because i don't want this to be some stupid long video like all of mine end up being and i also look like this and i don't want to keep looking like this so i thought it'd be fun today to film while getting ready and catch up a little bit. I don't really go on this channel too often because this is just something I do for fun. It's easily forgettable. So here we are. I'm so sorry you have to see me like this. We digress. I thought today it would be kind of fun to catch up and also talk about bouncing back into life after being really under the weather for a little bit. I feel like ever since the pandemic, we all kind of forgot that like normal sickness is a thing. And also that like, I swear to God, every sickness ever since just mimics COVID. So I have been sick for like a week and a half, two weeks-ish, give or take. It's been like all over the place. Last week I was dead, out of order. I am now now kind of finally bouncing back but it's still really hard i'm gonna just tell you what my plans are in hopes that like i don't know it inspires you this can go for a lot more than just sickness you could say like mental health too or you know anything so anyhow yeah that's what this video is gonna be and i will progressively get prettier throughout it so <laughs> we love that okay as far as what i'm using i'm not really gonna show too much like this is not a tutorial i can mention what i'm using or like comment it down below if you're curious about a product that i Use. I think I have maybe two makeup videos on my channel. I kid you not, it hasn't changed. If you just go watch those, it's pretty much the same thing. I've changed a few products up, but other than that, girl, we have stayed the same. This is not a makeup tutorial. This is literally just a get ready with me because I'm bored and don't want to put makeup on. I just thought it'd be kind of fun. So here we are. <laughs> so I'm not gonna lie. I didn't plan this video out in the slightest. I normally don't plan videos out. Like I am not a script gal. I am not over here plotting my video so if it's chaos I don't I mean you're the one that clicked on the video you can click off and so it's naughty okay wish me luck <laughs> Okie dokie, time to make it look like I am tan, even though I am a lot tanner than it looks on camera right now. There's just too much white all around me. I have been obsessed, I will mention this one product. I don't know if I've mentioned it in a video at all, ever. It's essentially a dupe for the Drunk Elephant Bronze Glow Drops or whatever it is. This is the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. Girl, I'm obsessed. I've not even touched my Drunk Elephant one since because A, I was running out and I'm not rich enough for that. And two, I'm obsessed with this. Like it is so simple and fun. It's essentially the same concept. You just kind of mix it with the product. I have tried using it just on its own. It just didn't blend as well. So I always get sunscreen actually. I've been trying to like get better at that, especially now with it being summer. I mix it and it's just amazing and I love it. It does look terrifying absolutely horrendous when you first apply it but the way that it blends into your skin is really cool it does last but it's also literally just a tinted moisturizer barely like i don't even know what this tech wow this is this is awful i don't know what this technically is it does wear off however since it's not a regular foundation the wear <laughs> i can't stop looking at myself like this the wear of it is really nice it's not the same as like foundation so it's not gonna get like blotchy it just literally fades off your skin which i think is so nice honestly this is actually it pretty blended i know it's still like the difference is insane but i promise you like i said i'm actually not that pale right now for once it's just serious to the lighting that's probably the only product that i'm gonna mention everything else Else is the same that I've been using and it's the, it's just the same concept of everything that I do I have the same makeup routine I'm not in love with it to be honest I don't care right now I don't know whatever anyways moving on so now time to get into what I actually want to chat about which is just bouncing back to life after being sick I swear I have literally been sick I think three times now this is my third I had strep in January which was insane I have not had strep since I was 10 or 9 because I got my tonsils taken out and I never got strep after that which was phenomenal and then my body was like oh that's so cute like you you really thought so I had strep and then I had some wicked like virus literally only in March like it's not even been barely two months and I don't know what it was my doctor was like possibly RSV like and I had never had that before so like reacted really badly to it I don't know Luke got sick like two weeks ago with like some nasty head cold cough thing. And I was like, no, I was like, this cannot. There's like, I'm just not gonna get sick. Like my immune system has to be a little bit more functional now. And she tricked me too, she really did. It, I went a whole week after he had like his fevers and all this and that. I went a whole week, did not get sick. I could feel my body physically fighting it off, which I thought was actually kind of cool. But then, <laughs> Literally one week like to date later, I was like, oh, 
I'm big sick. I think it just did not help that like I have not been my healthiest self. It's like really like a come to Jesus moment. I have not been treating myself right. Now it's starting to literally show within my physical health, not even just my mental health. I don't know. For me, it's like a realization that like, okay, I need to be doing a little bit better, get back on my game a little bit. That's kind of my, I guess, my unintentional segue into what I'm going to do to try and achieve that. So essentially here are my thoughts, comments, and concerns. Step one, <laughs> not even steps. I'm not doing this in steps. Again, I haven't really mapped this out. I have no idea what I'm doing in my life right now at all. Like no clue. I, I, I'm just going about my days. Here we are. I don't know. I've been just obviously patiently waiting for my body to at least be able to somewhat function. I went days without my ears being able to pop and almost admitted myself into a psych ward because it made me so crazy. I cannot. Anything with my ears, I'm so sensitive with that. It was driving me up a wall. Last week into pretty much this weekend, actually, I had just constant migraines. So that's like so fun. I don't know. It's just been a mess. I've been still dealing with really bad fatigue, headaches, obviously, like I just said, and then definitely still runny nose and cough. That's just like, she's not leaving the building. She's like, mm -mm, we want to stay. And I'm like, no. See, I've just been trying to be as patient as possible. I'm just so tired. It has been like putting a dent on my like mental health. I've been so excited for spring. Been doing a lot of fun like hobbies that I've been getting back into just to like, I don't know, give myself some purpose, excitement in life again. Also, I'm trying to kind of fall in love for the first time with my hometown. I'm stuck here for a little bit. I've always hated on it so much. I wanna fall in love with it. I found myself kind of getting there. I don't know, I'm appreciating it a lot more. I'm appreciating the beauty and the fact that I'm so close to the city, but also to the countryside. It's just like a lot of fun. I think it's a blast that I can go figure skate all day and then that evening or the next day go to a literal barn with horses and muck stalls. Like, it, we're diverse. I don't know. I'm having like 10 identity crises all at once. We're doing great over here. Okay, I hate talking while I do my brows, but I also hate talking while I do my mascara and that's what's next. So I'm just gonna suck it up. Okay, we're gonna suck it up. What I'm gonna do first for one is eat better. <laughs> my diet, she's non-existent. I do not have a diet. I do not plan on following a diet. So let's get that clear. That's not my vibe. I just wanna eat a little bit healthier, more consistent, just like, you know, just be on my hot girl shit. I just wanna definitely get my nutrition back into line, definitely cook more at home. Um, I suck at doing that. So yeah, nutrition is definitely like number one on priority list. And obviously that's gonna strengthen my immune system and make me feel better just overall. Duh. Food, gotta love her. After food, it pretty much follows, but like gym being back into fitness, I've been doing super well the last like two-ish years of being semi-consistent. I definitely still take my little breaks. It's all like unexpected and unintentional, but they're there and that's okay. I love working out. It's more of a mental release than anything else, but it's also just, it makes you feel so, so, so good. Yeah, I love it. Oh my gosh. Trying to film with three dogs and five puppies is not easy. So yeah, fitness is definitely just up there. I feel like that's kind of just like an obvious one. Also ignore all the pitter patters. I am dog sitting with two dogs plus my dog, five, like three, almost three week old puppies. So it's gonna be noisy and we're just gonna all have to just deal with it. I can't control this. So we got food, exercise. I mean, my gosh, I just sound like I'm at a doctor's office and the doctor's like, yeah, do this, this, and this. It's like, okay, well, yeah, that's like, obvious food exercise after like those two very simple ones obviously hydrating making sure that i'm getting more than enough fluids and all of that fun stuff you have the very obvious ones i think next step is like getting my mental health a little bit back in check it's been super thrown off i think for anyone really discouraging when you get sick and especially if you've been doing good with like being consistent with working out or eating or whatever it is and you're just like out of commission for like two weeks that can be really stressful really take a toll on you it's like stuck every day and i mean the other day i like i literally texted my my best friend. I was like, I don't remember the last time that I felt physically or mentally okay. It's so discouraging. I think once I start eating better, working out again, doing all that, I think that'll just overall in of itself help with my mental health. And also just like taking the added steps just to make sure that, you know, we're all good. Taking Miss Prosy every night, like she's a real one. I think those are like really good staples for bouncing back. Taking my supplements more is another one that I want to be doing. I was actually ironically doing well with that and then I still got sick. Not saying it's some cure, like I know that, but it's just like, I always find it ironic when I like finally start taking multivitamins or something again. And then it's just like, oh, boom, you're sick. It's just funny. I need to go back to Flintstone vitamins. Those never fail. <laughs> Other than those basic things, I think my plan going forward right now is 
continuing to find myself and like figure stuff out. It was a setback, getting sick, and also a realization of like, hey, you're not your healthiest self. You already knew that. You knew you are doing really stupid shit. So kind of like tie it back in a little bit. That's sort of how I'm looking at it. Step backs are a good thing at times. It's a shift of perspective. You have to take a step back. You have to pause. That can actually really help, I think, shift your perspective, gives you more time to think, more time to plan accordingly, get ideas, get inspiration, motivation, whatever you, whatever has you. I don't know. Oh, I'm not talking while I'm doing mascara. Absolutely the book not. It always blows my mind how much <laughs> mascara makes a difference on me. Why? It's so dramatic. Okay, so obviously mascara is done. I literally am almost done with my makeup because I don't do much and I'm literally not doing anything today aside from going to the barn and mucking stalls and brushing horses. I don't think they really care about my appearance. I just don't want to show up looking like Casper's sister. So I'm just keeping it sweet and simple today. <laughs> I think right now I'm just focusing on continuing to try and achieve goals, find new goals. I don't know, just better myself in every way because I have not been okay. This year has shown me my lowest self. I thought last year did that. No, it got worse. I am currently just actively trying to do a little bit better in every area of my life. I think I'm getting there or not really. I want to feel good so that I can perform good. Yeah, I don't know. There's not too much else. I mean, it's pretty pretty simple and my last video that I did was all about like spring reset essentially or just any reset really it did not have to be spring specified but it is springtime right now so I figured it was fitting I don't know I liked it so if you want like more actual in-depth tips and tricks of ways to improve yourself and habit changing and all that watch that video more than this one like yeah you you can go it's fine it was a more thorough in-depth look at what I was gonna do to improve thyself so yeah I mean like I said this video was not super planned out it's nothing phenomenal. I just want to check in and say hello. I mean, I miss filming. I think it is a lot of fun, but it is like a lot of work. And like I said, I've just been doing a bunch of other things. So I just don't think about it that much. And I never know what I want to post. Because this is genuinely just kind of for me. Like it's not like I'm some celebrity on YouTube. So it's kind of really fun actually being like such a tiny new channel because no one sees your videos. So you can kind of just do whatever. And I think it's so fun. But I don't know. We'll see what I come out with in the future. If anybody like has ideas and wants to comment, by all means, I would actually be so thrilled if even just one person was like oh you should do this video like i really want to see you talk about this or do this or show this i'd be like oh my gosh say less i would dedicate that video to you i swear to god that's pretty much it actually for the makeup i'm like looking at myself on the camera i'm like wait i think i actually just accidentally finished my makeup like i said i wanted to keep this video very short and sweet and simple and i hope that like if you guys out there i know a lot of stuff's going around i hope you guys are all doing well i think we all just are like a little miserable right now i don't know i think every time that we jump into a new season we kind of like have like a little shock moment maybe the change like subconsciously or consciously if you're like me and you know the change is coming and you don't like it and you're not here for it that's the finished makeup i'm actually going to the gym next so i'm gonna get in my workout outfit and then go to the barn and have myself a fun little day wow i look blue and white at the same time but i figured i'd just wrap up the video because i'm about to go head to the gym i hope you maybe like enjoyed this video i hope it wasn't like boring or weird i don't know i just thought it'd be fun to like film i needed to get ready and i get really bored getting ready i was listening to my audiobook but i just thought it'd be fun to pick up the camera because like why not and hopefully this is just like a short and sweet video if you have any ideas of content that you like maybe want to see or things that i could do just for fun let me know for sure i'd really appreciate that and then yeah i mean obviously the whole liking and subscribing thing is always lovely. I personally adore comments. I just think that's like the most fun thing ever. So by all means, comment something. I guess I'll just see you in the next video whenever that may be. <laughs> Bye! Are you gonna be a big brother? Are you gonna be a big brother? Yeah. He's getting an emotional support dog. An emotional support dog for my dog. <laughs> You're such a dweeb.